recording. Okay, now <clears throat> we're recording a desktop. I wonder if that's actually going to work. It's still recording the one I was using, I think, or did it get killed? No, there it is. It's working. OBS. Can they actually both record at the same time? No. Yes, yes, they can. Cause I'm still on desktop, still got audio. I mean, I can't, I can't wonder till I watch the videos back. But uh, so here's my YouTube preview for my stream live stream, which you know I'm not live streaming because I can't. Here's the files I'm making. I didn't want to try that before, but uh, get more curious here. Looks like it's working. Unless the audio's dropped out. Uh, but that's not of any use to me. Now, if one would stream and the other one would save a file, it would be of use. It'd still be using too many resources, I'll bet. Audio samples with non mononetic timestamp. That's weird. I haven't been paying much attention to that, so I don't know if that's an, what's been going on already. It's at. Uh, 18% and OBS is only at 13%. Oh, well, I changed those settings to FFmpeg. I might have OBS working a lot smooth, you know, easier on the system uh, by changing that to FFmpeg and FLV. Yeah, look at there. That's only adding up to 27, 20, 30%, and that's OBS gets uh, hits 30% uh, fairly often. Now let's go see what happens when I get on cam one. Now they wouldn't be conflicting because one's on the desktop and one's on the camera. I don't need that preview. 16%, 13%. Well, if nothing else, I'm learning about two apps all at the same time here. And uh, cam two. I keep flipping to that instead of to there. 16%, 12%, 13%. Okay, cams one and two. Seventeen percent, thirteen percent. I have found a. I think I found a really good improvement for OBS as far as the, what it uses now. If they will either fix OBS or I can figure out what what I've done to it. It's if if I've done anything, it's in the settings because now I've uninstalled and reinstalled. And uh, one in desktop. Still looks, well, it's 15%, 14%, which would kind of make sense, you know, to camera and a desktop, two and desktop. And just because you do see the input signal doesn't necessarily mean you're recording your audio, though. You can't tell that sometimes when it goes, puts work in. Um, but that's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so, and there's nothing else plugged in here on the OBS Studio, so I just think I'll go back to the desktop. And let's see, is that one still looking okay? Which one was the original one I started with? Oh, it was OBS, wasn't it? I guess I could tell by which one is the biggest file, maybe. Yeah, I guess so, 132 megabytes and 18 megabytes. Now that I'm using FFmpeg, it may not be so big like they were. Look, look how big all those were, and those were, I don't know how long they were. But usually a gig was, a gig was about, wait a minute, how long, what was what? Look at that one, 3.1 gigabytes, I'm not sure. I guess I'd have to open it up and see. I won't do that right now. But. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to, yeah, let's stop this one and then uh, stop OBS. <coughs>